now. She's the social media star that's been dubbed the Marilyn Monroe of TikTok, and it's very clear to see why, because Jasmine Chiswell bears an uncanny resemblance, resemblance to the 1950s icon. And it's not just movie star looks that she shares with uh, Marilyn. Jasmine also lives in the former Hollywood star's <laughs> home, uh, which uh, she claims is haunted by... Marilyn's ghost. What? Uh, Jasmine joins us now. Hi, Jasmine. Lovely to talk Morning, to you. Um, so, um, so with, uh, with what what was it that took uh, a, a girl from Scotland uh, to uh, to to her house? How did how did that happen? Oh my goodness. Where did I start? Um, for me, I worked in the film industry, and then I wanted to do, go and do my masters. And I ended up coming to LA, and I did a whole year's course. I then met my husband, um, and we fell in love with this home, and we found it, and it just kind of went from there. <laughs> I mean, your husband actually plays a huge role in this because your lack of confidence, really. Although you know it was your grandmother that introduced you to vintage clothes and loved watching old movies together, you didn't have the confidence to wear the clothes that you loved, and he was the one that just went, "Just do it." And now you both do it. We do. <laughs> yeah, because I think at the time I was just so scared of just doing something different. And he's really, really helped me in so many ways. He's like, you know, just go put yourself out there, do it. And we both now go into shopping together and we help each other out. So it's, it's really good. He's also got a great name. Maverick. He does. <laughs> Maverick. Good. That's a good name. name. So, um, so you were you're in her house. How did you find that house? I mean, it's remarkable that you should be watching the old movies, love the vintage style, get to Hollywood, and then end up living in her house. I know it's so surreal. Like we both are still like in shock, and it really came around. It was like, kind of like a cool story. So one Friday night, my husband and I were kind of bored, and we're just like, let's go see our old house in Brentwood. So we took a drive, and we went to see it, and we saw a big demolition sign. So we thought that they were knocking down her house. And my husband went on Google. He came across this home, and the open house was the next day, and we we're just like, we have to go just to see it. And then we just completely fell in love with it, and it just kind of went from there. And it's been such a crazy ride. <laughs> and it's a house that she shared with Joe DiMaggio. How much of it is original as it would have been when she lived there? As far as we're aware, the only thing that has been changed is the kitchen and they added heating and AC, which is good. <laughs> so what, what, what is there that, uh, that she, were the features that she would have lived around? Yeah, no, all of the bathrooms are all original. Um, from what we've seen, some of this, like even this room is all original um, and the bathroom behind me is all original from when she was here. The tiles, the doors, it's just, it, that bathroom that you're seeing now on the screen is all original from when she was here. And it's just so crazy to think that we, like she got to use those things and she saw the same things that we see every day. That is crazy. I mean, and more than that, that she still maybe have, has a presence around the house. Yeah, there's been so many weird things that's happened. And, you know, my husband and I have tried to, like, as they say, debunk the things that we hear. But so many people have experienced things that we just can't explain. People feel like they're getting hugged. We've heard some weird voices and we hear footsteps every single night. I'm surprised you haven't heard them just now because it's so early in the morning. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it happens all the time. So, so regularly, it regularly happens mm -hmm. and you cannot figure out what it is. There's no reasonable explanation. No, we've tried everything. We've tried our friends and my husband and I. We've tried driving different cars to see if it's the road. We've tried different things. We had the house check to see if it's animals, but no, we don't know where it's coming from. And how do you know it's her? That's the thing. We're just both like, we're not sure. <laughs> but we've had um, a psychic over and she believes that it is her and Joe and possibly another ghost that likes to play tricks, but we don't know. <laughs> but for sure, it feels that way. Well, if a ghost comes in and hugs you, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's a nice presence to have. I'm not sure. Well, no, it would freak you out, wouldn't it? But we all want to hug at the moment if it is someone you can't see. <laughs> even, even a ghost. I'll take that right um, So, uh, So uh, you have, essentially, you talk about living the dream. You're in Marilyn's house. Uh, Marilyn's around. You found her signature on mm -hmm. uh, some of the walls and things. Um, you've got nine million followers uh, on, on Tic Tac. Uh, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. TikTok. That's the other. That's the other one. That's about mints. That's the mint network. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not on that um, one. Uh, so on TikTok, <laughs> and so and essentially you're do <laughs> you're doing that for you. I mean, you are being you on TikTok for that <laughs> amount of people. 
Yes, it was so crazy. I did not expect to have that amount of a following and I'm honestly so honoured and it's just been a, an amazing journey. Well, listen, uh, Jasmine, thank you so much for joining us. I know you've got up ridiculously early. What time is it there? It is three or four in the morning. Oh, you look like that. It's incredible. Well done. You. Fully made up and ready at three in the morning. That Marilyn is would be impressed. Isn't it? She would be. She would be. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. We'll look out for you on TikTok and uh, <laughs> just... tick and TikTok. <laughs>